All public servants know the uh, critique of public service uh, paying conditions that has been going on in the media for many years, and in particular the attacks on public service pensions. That also falls against the background of uh, major changes to pensions in the private sector where people have had major, uh, I suppose, worsening of conditions about uh, the benefits they've already built up, benefits into the future, indexation. We're also aware of colleagues in the public service in the UK and Northern Ireland where there's been changes to retirement ages, changes to future benefits and higher contributions. So facing into these talks, we set ourselves the target of protecting the benefits and in effect the price that flows from that is a higher contribution into the future but that contribution will be lower than the pension levy people currently pay. The government wanted to keep all of the pension levy. Uh, we managed to reduce the pension levy by 575 euro uh, pretty much for everybody. Well at the moment between the pension levy which was never agreed and the standard pension contribution which averages six and a half percent Public servants pay uh, over a billion euro uh, per annum to the government to fund public service pensions. That covers less than the actual cost of public servants, in fact it only amounts to about a third of it. So there was always going to be pressure uh, for the contribution by public servants to be higher than what it uh, was traditionally. Our job was to reduce it as much as possible and what we succeeded in doing is reducing it for people in the standard schemes and reducing it even further for people who are in the new single uh, pension scheme, career average pension scheme. The exceptions are people who are in favourable fast accrual schemes will continue paying the pension levy as they're paying it at the moment. For almost all public servants, they will see a reduction of what they are currently paying. The only people that won't see a change in what they're currently paying is people in the fast accrual schemes who don't work any overtime or have any on-call allowances. They're a tiny percentage of the public servants service. Pretty much everybody else uh, will uh, see a reduction in, in what they're paying and in fact one quarter of public servants will stop paying any payment uh, uh, based on the old pension levy. The uh, people in standard schemes, in other words, who build up their career over 40 years uh, will pay the existing pension levy less 575 euro on, on average and people in the new schemes will pay one third of that. So a simple rough example is somebody's paying a little bit more than 2000 euro a year pension levy at the moment. That will reduce to around 1500 and if they remember it, the new single scheme they'll be paying roughly 500. We got the government to agree that the payment of that money is designed to underpin the sustainability of public service pensions. Now, the pension levy uh, will be called an additional superannuation contribution. As both sides are agreed that what we're trying to do is preserve intact the existing pension schemes and that's a huge achievement in the context of what has happened impact on members of other unions in many other pension schemes outside of the public service. Well, it, it is a permanent arrangement uh, replacing the FEMPI measure, but it doesn't mean it can't be tweaked and moulded as we go forward because, for example, at the moment, public servants have their pension contribution adjusted every time there's a change in the state old age pension because that triggers the payment thresholds. And we will obviously have conversations like that from time to time. But the idea of people paying a, a payment that's designed to underpin their pension benefits will carry carry on into the future. This will change in 2019. So come uh, the beginning of 2019, what will happen is, first of all, if you have any income that isn't pensionable, like overtime on call allowances, they will stop taking any levy off it. Uh, for the rest of people, uh, the fast accrual groups like firefighters, guards and whatever, it will just have a new title on their existing payment and there will be no change to the payment. For the majority of public servants uh, who are in the standard scheme, it will be the existing amount less €575 Euro per annum. People who are members of the new single scheme, it will be what their colleagues are paying, but only one third of that.
The agreement will provide most public servants with a pay increase of between 7 and 7.5%. 7 .5%. That will come in two forms. For some people it will be just a pure pay increase. For others it will be a combination of a pay increase and the value of the reduction in the levy.